All right, all right. Without further delay, I say we go ahead and get started, eh? We're just gonna go ahead and continue from where we left off last time. Uh, do we want to do a couple more of the side missions real quick, or do we want to get right back into the story? I don't want to risk missing any of the side missions. At the same time, though, some of them were really kicking our ass, dude. We have obtained information on monsters dwelling in the closed coal mines. There is a possibility that the mines were shut off with precious items still inside. Please go investigate. I mean, that's a level one. That one shouldn't be too bad. Uh, how are we for items at the moment? 23 potions, 7 ethers, 3 soma, 0 remedies. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get a couple remedies at least. Not a ton, but at least a couple so we have them. And was there any materia or anything we needed to change? Salt twister. At some point, I think you can, like, fuse together materia or something. I see. Oh, well, yeah, right there. <laughs> materia fusion. I'm a dumbass. It's literally right in front of us. Yeah, I remembered that being a thing. Uh, to get, like, different special materials and things. I don't remember any of the combinations from back in the day, though. So, yeah. But, still, it's neat that it's there. Saw Twister, Blizzard Blade, HP up. Um, let's see. I think I'll just go ahead and leave what I have equipped equipped for now. Patty, this game is ass? I mean, that's an opinion. <laughs> you seem to have a contrarian point of view on uh, most video games, my guy. Another game that sold a crap ton of copies, like Stardew Valley, for instance. I mean, it's nothing like Stardew Valley, but it did very, very well. It's a very Activate popular game. I personally enjoy it, but teach their own, of course. Trying to remember, it's been a week since we played. Okay, so A's dodge, X is attack. Final Fantasy X, Chocobo, what's up, my guy? And all physical activated, very nice. I'm gonna stay out of the way of that, uh, that poison there, though. It has no guns? I mean, you don't use guns, but there are guns in it. <laughs> I, of course, would argue either way that having guns doesn't make a good game. There's definitely ass games out there that have guns. Switch people. Nah, I think we're probably fine. Activating combat mode. Uh, actually, we are not fine. How do we use? How do we use potions again? <laughs> My God, we almost died. Okay, no MP cost. Heal. Uh, I mean, that works. That's <laughs> not what I meant to do, but, like, it worked, at least. We're not dead. High on Life has guns, and it's hilarious. Yeah, don't get me wrong, man. High on Life looks amazing. It's definitely on the list of games that I want to play one of these days. Like, having guns obviously doesn't make a game bad, but I also argue that it doesn't make a game good. Let's go, dude. Oh, yeah. 14 Caleb Payne, 24 SP. Okay, we should probably go ahead and heal. <laughs> I wish we could use the magic outside of combat. Wait, is that the boss right there? Probably. Let's just go ahead and heal before we hop in. Activating combat mode. <laughs> Gotta vote for pets. Well, thanks, Noodle. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure we're all super excited for that one. How do we? Okay, there we go. Uh, we're dead. <laughs> Holy shit, dude! It's like out of nowhere. <laughs> Try again. We're fine. I don't think we need to change our equipment or anything. I think we just need to be a little bit more careful with dodging out of the way of these thunders and things. I say right if you get hammered by. Okay, he's dead. Here. You know, honestly, the poison isn't that bad. Obviously, it sucks having a constant low drain of, of health. 
Oh shit, I'm popping potions left and right. I was pressing D trying to dodge. Has no FOV slider, which is kind of weird. Yeah, that is weird, man. I remember back in the day, uh, Borderlands. Love that game. But it used to literally make me ill. Because I was uh, sat too close to the TV and uh, would play that a lot. And it not having an FOV slider to, to compensate really messed me up, man. It is surprising that a modern day FPS wouldn't have an FOV slider. It's like, it's basically standard at this point. Really need to get around to trying out the other Final Fantasy games sometimes. Which one have you played, Nate? I'm sure we've talked about it at some point, but I honestly just don't remember. Looking for items. Level two. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't want to risk missing any of the side missions, but at the same time, the one level two that we did really messed us up. Uh, I think... I think we're okay. I'm going to throw down a save and not save over it just in case. But I'm pretty sure we'll be able to go back to those ones. I, there might be some that we can't. I don't really remember. But those ones are probably fine. How are we for potions and things since I was accidentally popping them left and right? We still have 18. That should be enough. Barely any option for shit, but it launched complete for the most part. Yeah, I mean, I've seen like a couple clips of people playing the game as well as the uh, the trailer for it. And it looks really good. It looks hilarious, honestly. Like, uh, it is weird that it doesn't have very many options, but I guess maybe it was made for, like, console-first sort of deal. A lot of console-first video games don't have very many options. 15, some of 1, some of 7, and have watched some others be played. So, I see. you've missed a lot. <laughs> have, you, have you finished 15? 15, I like, don't get me wrong, but I, I'll always be mad that it isn't what it looked like it was going to be from the original trailer whenever it was still called Versus 13. Ready to go? A routine job, right? No sweat. I wonder. Originally, Sephiroth was assigned to this mission. That means it's a top priority matter. Be alert or you'll fail. And Sephiroth? Refusing to go, apparently. Oh, what is that? They spoil him too much. Why don't you say that to his face? Uh, no thanks. I have no idea who that is, <laughs> Hattie. Got a good bit in what order I should play them in. Uh, whatever order you want. None of them are connected except for like, a couple of the games are connected to Final Fantasy 12. There's the Ivalice, uh, like world of games. Um, and then there's Your a handful trees. connected to 7, and then there's like 10 and 10 too. But other than that, Your it really trees. doesn't matter. Just whatever order you want. Or dumb apples. That means this is Benora Village? And Jill's hometown? Correct. Genesis and Angeal have known each other a long time. I can't hover over it to see what emote that is, Chocobo, but for some reason it's making me think of uh, suplexing a train <laughs> from, it was, uh, what, Final Fantasy, that yeah, was six, right, where you could suplex the train? <laughs> I might be misremembering, but I think it is. Never heard of the movie Tammy the no, I, no, I definitely haven't. <laughs> I have no idea what, you're, what that's about. These guys, I saw them in Wu Tai. So they are here. We've seen no townspeople yet. They may have taken control of the whole town. When Genesis left, he took an arsenal along with him. Retrieve or destroy. Those are the president's strict orders. Okay, no sweat. Yeah, at six, I thought so. 
But yeah, Nate, the, uh, the original games are pretty... Uh, oh, that emote's from Tactics. Okay, okay. Um, the original games are pretty easy to play these days because there's the pixel remasters of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 available on Steam and basically every console. Uh, or no, no, they're not available on console yet, actually. I think they're releasing them for Switch here soon, but that's the only console that they're coming to as of now. I think. I could be wrong on that. I know they're coming to Switch, though, because I've been seeing the ads for it popping up. Uh, but they're available on PC, on Steam, and whatnot. You can play them on there. Um, and they did a pretty good job, in my opinion, with Remaster. To be fair, I only finished Final Fantasy 1 for the Pixel Remaster. In fact, that might be the only one I actually own. Uh, the only, like, real problem I had with that one was that the font they decided to use was kind of ass. Uh, for some reason, the English font in the Final Fantasy VII Pixel Remaster is, like, the super skinny, just plain white text. Um, it's actually better if you go into the game files and swap out the English font with the Japanese English character font. Um there's a chance it could break some things like you just have some text overflowing or something like that i never had any issues with it whenever i did it for my playthrough of one but i would highly suggest doing that but it is just text at the end of the day it's not the end of the world uh, but it makes that really easy to do final fantasy 7 original 8 original um are both available on steam i don't remember 9 10 12 13 and 15 are all available on Steam as well, except the the 13 ports for, for PC are ass. <laughs> they work, but they, they suck. Hold on, I got to plug in my watch real quick. I forgot to do it while I was setting up, and it's uh, it's dying. But yeah. Anyways, Final Fantasy X on PC is is decent enough. Um, Final Fantasy XII is pretty decent on PC. Thirteen sucks ass, and then fifteen was pretty good. Gone assignment in Benora, right? How is the place? I hear there are a lot of Shinra people there. Apparently, the village's main source of income is the production and processing of apples. The rest of their budget is made up of subsidies from Shinra. Now, why would Shinra care about such a tiny village? Could it have something to do with Mako, or? There's got to be something fishy going on there. I'm going to look into it. Only Final Fantasy you need is Fallout New Vegas. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, uh, I mean, Fallout New Vegas is fun. But it's not Final Fantasy. I, to this day, still prefer Fallout 3 to New Vegas, though. I do think Fallout New Vegas... I mean, we've had this conversation so many times on stream. I, I do think Fallout New Vegas is the better, for, like, gameplay-wise, oh, yeah. mechanics-wise. But I, I like the world and lore a lot more of uh, Fallout 3 than I do New Vegas. Fallout 3 and New Vegas are the only two Bethesda games I've ever actually beaten. <laughs> All the other ones I've played, I just never oh, took yeah. the time to finish. I uh, played them a lot, hundreds of hours, in the instance of, like, uh, Skyrim and Fallout 4, but I always get sucked into all of the side missions and shit, never end up finishing the actual game. Even the new Doom ones? Yep, never finished any of those either. I mean, I'm sure there's, like, a Bethesda game somewhere that I probably finished, but yeah, like, Doom, Wolfenstein, uh, the one, the stealth one that I always forget the name of, uh, none of them. I haven't played hundreds of hours in Doom and whatnot, though. Just, you know, Skyrim and Fallout 4 from the Bethesda collection. But I have played Doom 2016, I want to say. Just never got around to finishing it. So we're going to do Fallout UV 1 or 2 since you haven't played them. Or you played since it's been a while since you've done a proper playthrough. I've never beaten 2, but I do really, really like 1. beat Doom 2016 and Eternal. I played, uh, I don't remember how much of it, about a year ago, and I was enjoying it, don't get me wrong, but it just wasn't able to hold my attention long enough to, like, sit there and finish it, but it's still in my list of currently playing games. Like, I haven't relegated it to backlog or anything like that. I do plan on finishing it still. Uh, of course, we don't have Thunder equipped. If we die, we can always re-equip it then. 
EM field? Nope. I'm good. And then I roll right into it like a dumbass. Good job, me. God damn it. <laughs> I thought a dodge roll would be able to get away from that, but it's not. It's fine. We, uh, we're going to re-equip with our Thunder one anyways. Review equipment and dragon. We want to switch Materia. Thunder Blizzard Cure, Blizzard Blade. We don't have, like, Thunder Blade yet, do we? No. Okay. I mean, that should be fine, though. I mean, I guess we don't really need Blizzard. We could just swap that out for an HP up or something, but I think that'll be fine. Yeah, we should be good. Try again. Activating combat mode. And now we actually have something that you're weak to and apparently has a really short range. Holy crap. I don't remember that being a thing. I'm really hoping for some uh, unlimited MP here at some point so we can just go ham on the... on the, the thunder. Nope. I don't know why the dodge roll is working now on... Oh, damn, dude. That really has a short range. No MP cost. Let's go. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> I don't even care. Just, just hit him. Okay. Heal. And just thunder. We good. We got him. He's dead. Too easy, man. That uh, DMW wheel can really change a battle. I mean, I think we had it that time either way, but it helps copy. a lot. Where did you hear that? Sephiroth said it. The technology was stolen from our scientists. Huh? It apparently allows Genesis's abilities and traits to be transplanted to soldier members and monsters. Soldier and monsters? We're the same? That scene feels like it ends kind of weirdly, man. A little bit out of nowhere. Oh, we breeding. What do we got? Waiting for it to pop up. Oh, God. <laughs> Bo looking like he just ate something way too sour, man. <laughs> Bo is not a happy camper right now. All right, Sung, what do you got for us, man? This is Genesis's home. His parents are wealthy landowners. But I never but I stole never from, that from that tree, tree because, because the wealthy, wealthy man's man son was my friend. They weren't mere acquaintances. They grew up together and were best friends. So Genesis deserts and gets his best friend Angeal to join him. Is that it? Sephiroth believes that's the case. There. A gravestone, still very new. Zack, go find Angeal's house. I'll check the grave. He's cute, he got uh, a tooth to tooth smile. He does, but look do at his eyes, stuff. man. Someone has to do it. The way he's wincing, Must that's what rough. makes me think he just Don't had worry. something way too sour. We're paid much better than Some you Pickled are. plums or something. No way! Zach, go find Angeal's house. It should be over there. It's likely already in enemy hands. <laughs> it's a squint. Be careful. You're a squint.
I saw a chest when it panned up. Where was that? Right there. Let's go, dude. Can we search Genesis' house, too? I don't think so. Activating combat mode. <laughs> Genesis copies apparently don't want us searching Genesis' house. Take that! GG. Oh yeah. To be honest, you're not impressed by the game yet? I mean, it just feels like it's just a prettier version of Final Fantasy 7 Crisis 4 on on the PSD, right? Like they didn't add anything new or do anything new with it. So it still has a lot of the limitations that they had back when they made it on the PSP. Um, the, the game for a mobile game at the time, I feel like it was pretty decent, but other than that, I don't think it really was any, or really is anything that impressive. It does have a good story though. Like that's, it's, that's its redeeming quality is, is the story. The background of Zack and, and Cloud and all that BS. Getting a little bit of a deeper look at Shinra by working inside Shinra is pretty neat. Let's see. Angel's house is... Angel's house is... Question mark. Somewhere. <laughs> God, he's such a dumbass. All right. I'll just have to check each one. There are many illuminated spots to be found around Benora Village where items are being hidden. You cannot collect these items right now, but if you check on them now, you can collect them at a later time. Cool, cool. Uh, what else was I going to say? Oh, the one How thing that still bothers me about the game... But now's not really the time. Zack's voice actor that they got, man. I, I brought it up a couple times whenever we first played it. It does bug me. I don't... <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it yet. Like, maybe... Maybe it'll grow on me or something, but as of right now, I'm not really liking the direction they took with his voice actor compared to Zack original. Oh my god, you suck. Alright, need to heal. I mean, the thing that kind of bothers oh, me yeah. is they they did the remake of Fo Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 here. That's fine and all. Um, but they didn't touch anything, Crisis. right? But now's not That's really what everyone time. was begging I'll for with later. Final Fantasy 7. They just want them to take the game Activate and like prettify it. Just make it, make it new. Update it. Maybe add a couple new story elements or whatever, but just leave the game alone. <laughs> Whereas this game, I think a lot of people would have been fine if they had updated it made it more of a, a modern day ARPG instead of just leaving it exactly what it always was, you know? It makes them feel almost a little bit out of touch, but at the same time, ARPGs have a lot wider appeal than um, than JRPGs do, so that's probably a big part of why they did that. You think they're leaning into birth by sleep zach too much yeah but i mean like even the voice actor for birth by sleep if i remember correctly was the original voice actor um that did advent children and crisis core whereas with this one they got they got an all new one and i guess final fantasy 7 remake technically too was the same one that that's in here but and oddly enough whenever i heard him in Crisis Core Final Fantasy, or I'm sorry, in Anybody Final Fantasy 7 Remake, it didn't bother me at all, but now that he's like front and center, it just, uh, Anybody a little iffy about it. Favorite zombie game? What zombie games have I played? <laughs> I didn't realize those things could use doors. Activating combat um, is this thing's named Blood Taste? Interesting. Why can I not think of any zombie games I've played? I mean, like, I played zombies in Call of Duty, but I didn't really like that. Um... Man, I am blanking the hell out. There's gotta be 
Dead Rising? I don't Anybody think I ever actually me? played Dead Rising. Anybody I know of it, but don't think I ever played it. Uh, I haven't gotten around to playing Last of Us yet, Anybody which aren't like home? normal zombies, but zombie-esque. Um... Dude, I honestly can't think of it. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, uh, greetings, ma'am. Are you Fallout? Angel's I guess mother? kinda with the ghouls. Um, my name is Zach. Are you Zach, the puppy? Excuse me. <laughs> my son wrote to me once about you. Zero attention span. Restless as a little puppy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angeal. You're not here together with Genesis, are you? No, I'm not. Don't worry. What is happening with my son? I'm not really sure. Genesis came back here a month ago with an army of cohorts and they proceeded to take the lives of many townspeople. Genesis, he used to be such a good boy. Is Angeal? He came here, but he left his sword and went off somewhere. That sword represents our family's honor. I see. No wonder. He never uses this sword, really, ever. I'll take care of Angeal. You should go and hide somewhere. Don't be concerned. Genesis cannot harm me. Hmm. He left behind the sword that's a symbol of his honor. Wonder what the hell he's getting up to. <laughs> hmm. Remember the deer ornament that was on the floor? Uh, you mean the one that you came home and was like, which one of the cats put that on the floor, knocked that on the floor? Was that the deer ornament? When Angeal decided to join Sinra, my husband had that sword made for him and told him to fight with honor. He borrowed a lot of money, and he worked so hard to return the debt, he eventually died of fatigue. You asked how it got on the floor? I mean, when we know how it got on the floor. It's one of the cats, but anyways, what about it? Where did you go? <laughs> what? There's little teeth marks all Genesis over it. Copies. Like I said. <laughs> and I wonder which one of the cats would have left little teeth marks all over it. Wouldn't be the little problem child now, would it? The one that you stick up for all the time? <laughs> Airstrike level 3? Hell yeah. Uh, I mean, we might as well use it. I don't think it's stacked, Brace right? Yourself. Is this the end? No, not if I can help it. I love how the uh, characters just don't even react whenever you have a helicopter shooting at them and firing missiles at them and the shit. I saw a Genesis copy go in. You think it might be their HQ? I do. I'm on a cliff overlooking the factory. The best way in is from above. Come to the cliff top now. All right then. Guess we're going to the cliff top. Activating combat mode. After we fight these guys again. <laughs> God damn it.
excuse me, sir. I'd appreciate it if you didn't fuck my shit up. Noise. Conflict resolved. Covered up Lizard Blade again? Considering we only just started using it, it's uh leveling up pretty quick. Activating combat mode. I don't like how quickly the encounters are resetting in the area. It's okay, you were referred to as the problem child in our department. Yeah, I mean, let's be honest, man. It's you. <laughs> if it's anyone, it's you. Alright, so it seems like most people here are weak to either Thunder or Blizzard. So I feel like whenever we get out of this, we need to switch our Materia over. Oh wait, no, we already have Thunder and Blizzard equipped. I'm a dumbass. Never mind. We... I thought we had Fire and Blizzard equipped for some reason. How though? You're the one always getting into fights with your supervisor. What do you mean? But now's not really the time. I'll come back later. <laughs> Keeps calling Charlotte a menace and it hurts her feelings. Charlotte is a cat. <laughs> Charlotte doesn't know what I'm calling her. Okay, so it wants us to go up the cliff. So obviously we're not. We're going to go around this way first. Probably get into a fight or two. Or saying we'll just call us and yell at us. That's a possibility too. <laughs> Were you listening? Yes, I was listening. I just didn't want to. Remember, this is a reconnaissance mission. I don't suppose we can... Nah, he's just going to yell at us again. You've gotten along with him for like two months now. I mean, that's an improvement. Yes, I was listening. I'm coming now. Why can't you ban an in-game action? I paused a lot of those things because they were getting to be a little bit too disruptive. People were intentionally using them to uh, make progress impossible. Skill issue? What's a skill issue? You have a new mail from Lazard. Okay. I doubt it's anything important, but... Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. As you all well know, a great number of our comrades have left the company. There is now some concern within the company whether this will lead to a decline in soldiers' combat abilities. However, we can also take this pressure as a chance to prove how indispensable we are to the company by proving our strength as a small but elite group. I hope you take advantage of this mission, where we will be bringing an end to the war with Utai to do your best and prove yourselves. Okay, sure. Why does this dude have a sword if they're cell phones? I mean, he's still kicking all the other people's ass with his sword, so why not? <laughs> There's a lot of advanced technology. But he can still murder people. Just fun. Uh, no. would rather not get hit by that. You only did it once and it was a sports ball game? Yeah, we'll just blame it all on Nate. <laughs> MP up? Uh, fine. We're fairly limited on the number of uh, material we can equip right now, so... Not a huge fan of the MP ups, HP ups, stuff like that at the moment, but... Still nice to have, I suppose. Did we miss mail? Oh, I read the wrong one a moment ago. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. Upon receiving a report of an unspeakably tragic incident, I find myself thinking about parental bonds. Okay. Just as happiness can be found in non-biological ties, parent and child can be unhappy even if tied by blood. The difference is whether or not there are feelings of respect and appreciation. Without them, ill blood is born. Ill blood is prone to lead to tragedy, and ill blood sometimes affects our missions. Excuse me. While soldier must always execute our missions quickly, we must also focus on risk prevention in the future. Uh, sure. Are you happy now, my guy? I came the way you wanted me to. Genesis's parents were in that grave. Wait, he... his own family? We can't expect reason from him. What about Angeal? He wasn't at the house. 
But please, give me time. If I find Angeal, I can talk to him. If I can convince Angeal, maybe Genesis will come back too. I understand now why Sephiroth chose you. Huh? Genesis and Angeal. Those two were Sephiroth's only friends. He didn't want to fight them. That's why he refused the mission. Well, Angeal is my friend too. He's counting on you to bring them both back. <sighs> Time is short. Let's go. Made it in. No problem. Glad the game told us we were in a factory. I don't think I could have figured it out otherwise. Go on ahead. I've got your back. Taking a drink. Uh, continue. Activating combat pack. G Assassin B. Can I call you Gabby? Or just Gab for short? You're in for it how now. do you like how wait, how does this even work? <laughs> We're inside a building right now. No, not a Oh yeah. Oh that took both of them now, hell yeah. Zach, this way. Keep sharp. So as always, go the other way. Thank you for that, son. Why would I just ignore that chest to go over there? Doesn't make any damn sense. Also don't know why he feels the need to tell me which way to go when there's clearly only one path through this place. It's not like it's some massive warehouse, man. I can see both ends of it from up here. And we're on a walkway with no doors. Like, <laughs> there's, there's only one way to go, my guy. Big dude, real quick, please. Thank you. And oh god, they keep spawning. It seems like if we uh, hit them in the back, we do automatically get criticals, which is nice. Gives us a reason to kind of try and get behind them and strike. Ah, fuck it. Just hit the limit break. Here we go. Go, go, go. It may have been a little dumb to use it on the guy with like full health, but whatever. He's <laughs> Ow. Oh god. God damn it. I feel like I'm gonna end up regretting picking to play this game on hard mode. I mean, so far we're okay. Except for those level 2 missions. The level 2 missions have kicked our ass. We need to go back to it here soon, though. I'm hoping after this story this section, way. we'll be a high enough level to get through it reasonably easily. Again, with the directions, my guy, I can see you. I can also see this Activating chest, though. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> We should probably pick up more ethers in the shop. MP is proving very useful against some of these enemies. Elixir, nice. Is that it? I think so. A little chesty chest. What do we got? Remedy? Meh. Oh shit. <laughs> I'm used to Final Fantasy VII Remake. I was trying to break open the boxes there. This is where the copies are made. Go upstairs. 
Genesis may be there. Ooh, a ham bone. Very nice, Noodle. Bo appreciates that. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Ripples form on the water's surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. Settle down, Zack the puppy. <laughs> the grave at the house. We found the remains of our people there as well. It didn't take much to have them send false reports. Just some mild threats. <clears throat> they would have done that anyway. At least your parents would have. My parents betrayed me. They had always betrayed me from the very beginning. What do you know? Shit, relax, dogs! <sighs> Genesis is a little angry. <laughs> He's not in a particularly good mood at the moment. Welcome, partner. I see. You finally made your decision. I'll respect your wishes, old friend. However... Can you really live on that side? He's not the only one with mommy daddy issues, Noodle. <laughs> it's kind of a running theme for uh, high ranking soldier people. <laughs> it turns out a lot of them have mommy daddy issues. You'll figure out why eventually. What is it you don't like about the way he talks? Can't interact with the computer? No. Was there anything like in here? We can't go back that way, so probably not. Yeah, we all have some sort of random issues. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. It's a very Freudian response. Damn. Where is he? Did he leave the factory? Just the way he spaces his words out. See, now I'm just thinking William Shatner, and I, I'm failing to see the connection here. <laughs> he talks kind of slowly, I guess, is what you're saying. See, I've always just kind of put it into, like, There's no philosophical. Time. We have to leave now. Kind of, the way that, that Wait, he speaks. Wait, we're going to give up but... the search? We can't leave any evidence. An airstrike has been called. It's time to get the fuck Are out is sure what he's saying. Yep. At Angel's house. <sighs> Angel's house. Hurry. See, I never said no one was there. I just said Angel wasn't there, my guy. <laughs> Why would you call in to have the place bombed? Jesus. I hope we're not on a time limit. I don't think we are. The game would probably say something if we were, right? I'm sure it's fine. Let's take a little detour here real quick. Oh, look, another chest. Don't mind me. Just wait until we start to see, like, the planes flying overhead while I'm just over here fucking around. <laughs> Bulletproof vest. Uh, 
bronze armlet, bronze bangle. We probably don't need the fire armlet right now. I'd rather have more vitality or just more raw HP. Probably more vitality. We'll equip the bulletproof vest. Sounds almost breathy. Yeah, a little bit. It's his, uh, it's his sexy voice, that's all. Genesis has begun shelling the town. Oh, man! What do we do now? Use timely sword strikes to destroy shells. What? <laughs> it can't be too fast or too slow. Keep focus. Same routine as before. Are you ready? I have to be. Pay close attention to the fuse sound and the shell color. That's all the advice I can give you. Fuse sound, shell color, fuse okay. Sound? This sound. Keep your ears open. The sound will indicate the right time to attack. Watch for the shell's color change, too. I'm counting on you. I don't remember this section at all. <laughs> so I have no idea what the hell is about to happen. I have to get to Angel's mom quickly. I'm assuming it's some sort of like a rhythm game thing about to happen here. Enemy cannon shells will fly toward you. Destroy them with your sword. When the shells heat up and turn red, that is the time to strike. Press X to flash out. Okay. Oh. We do not have a lot of time to hit that. Oh god, like I said. <laughs> Damn, too early. I'm trying to gauge it based off of like how close it is to us, I think is probably better than waiting for the, the sound or color. Oh, man, they changed the camera on me. <laughs> that screwed me up. I mean, we didn't die, at least. <laughs> we didn't particularly do the well, but... Stopped. Looks like you fended off quite a few. I've a couple. Word. The airstrike is commencing. Hurry. I hope she's all right. Gotta find her. Now. I mean, assuming she didn't move, that should be easy enough. Reach Angel's house before the Shinra air strike begins. If you check Benora's hit items again along the way, you require those items upon arriving at a gym. What? Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Okay. I can check. Uh, isn't there a run button? Yeah, okay. I can get, check get the thing. Get the thing and run. Holy hell. This is just rude. <laughs> I don't know which one of these are important to pick up. Oh man, I'm positive we're missing some. Okay, we missed one. Ah, that bothers the hell out of me that we missed one. After some deliberation, I've managed to buy a little more time. Go do whatever needs to be done. Thank you, Tsung. Those shells are Shinra products, too. So you'll be rewarded for destroying evidence of the company's involvement. 700 gill obtained. Ether Soma X Potion Elixir. I can't help but wonder what was the one that was... It was, what, over here? I hope it wasn't something super nice. Like, <laughs> I mean, it probably wasn't anything important. Uh, this one. Throw it down a save. And then... So he said, go do what you need to do. What are you doing, Zach? I have to get to Aunt Jill's house. Oh, well... Okay, what was the point of giving us extra time if we can't go collect items? Is there, like, something that spawned up here now? It doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, that's weird. I guess just so we could go ahead and save before we go into Angel's house? I don't really, I don't really know what that was about.
What the hell did you do, Angeal? Is that... Is that your idea of honor? My mother... could not continue to live. And neither can her son. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I told you. You can't live on that side anymore. <sighs> Angeal! <sighs> Angeal! My friend, do you fly away now? To a world that abhors you and I? Shut up! All that awaits Shut you up! I'm is a somber you! morrow. No matter where the winds may blow. I don't see Sephiroth today, but are you game? Why aren't you a cute little puppy? A summon! Damn it! Activating combat mode. Oh god. <laughs> We're gonna get our shit wrecked. <laughs> like I said. Wait a second. Oh, I just used an elixir? I'm glad the game's <laughs> reloading. I did not mean. Oh no! We must have accidentally used a, uh. a fucking Phoenix feather at some point. Oh, we have Null Physical activated at the moment, dude. Just wail on him. What is up, Psycho? Oh, God. How do we guard again? We actually dodged all that? I don't know how that happened. Ow. And all physical, excellent. Damn you, Bahamut. Ow. <laughs> okay, we should probably heal before we get murdered. Uh, Blizzard, I guess, while he's chilling over there. Bahamut has way too much health. No MP cost? Perfect timing, dude. Uh, well, kind of perfect timing. <laughs> Would have been better if he had to move right in the middle of it. Okay, 50%. Can we get him down 25? We cannot. Mega Flare? This is gonna hurt. Especially since we got rid of our, uh, Absorbing Fire. Equipment. Again, these cutscenes don't look particularly good by today's standards, but I remember on the PSP, man, this blew my mind the first time I saw these summons cutscenes. 738, we hardly went through that. Blizzard for days, let's go. Stream, did I ignore you? Oh, no, I just didn't see your message, love. Yeah, I will uh, gladly open a present. Okay, heal before we run out of... I don't know if there really is a way to dodge that properly or not. I mean... Come on, hit him, hit him, hit him. Nice, 25. Okay, we're still going to take some damage, but... Soon. I didn't ignore you, I just didn't see it, you weirdo. <laughs> 404. File not found. Okay, potion, because we are out of magic. I could really use a uh, MP for free sort of deal right about now. Because I can't hit him while he's over there. Holy shit, that hurt. Let's go! Uh, Better these two. Couldn't it. remember how to use the summons for a second. Summon on summon action, man. Let's go.
I think that'll do it. Oh, that'll yes, do it. Oh. Get wrecked, my guy. Hey, M5 bits. Thank you so much, Noodle. I'll take that. Summons aren't meant to be used like this. What happened to dreams and honor? We are monsters. <gasps> uh, twenty one out of thirty and nor honor. dark. Cloud 2? But don't feel like you need to don't know, man. I don't expect donations from anyone. Although I do really appreciate it for anyone that does. Soldier. Doesn't mean monster. I really wish they would have redone these cutscenes instead of just like upscaling them. It's just weird when the actual game looks better than the cutscenes do. Hydrate, let's go, dude. I am down for hydrate. My mouth is dry. Ah. Just plain water today. Nothing fancy. You have three leftover googly eyes. What should you stick them to? The register at work? <laughs> Nate's got a good idea there, man. That's definitely the type of thing she would do, too. Her boss hates her for it, but, like... You're just glad to be with the community tonight? Same, man. Same. Throw down a save... Uh, I guess we can go ahead. I'm going to stretch my legs real quick now that we're done with that story section. Uh, once whatever cutscene I'm sure is about to play and plays. Chill. And then we'll go ahead and open one of those uh, games over. that Noodle got me. Everyone's real happy. As for me. That sword represents our family's honor. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Where did you go? You have to have a callus Zach cut out of here. your foot? Dude, that sucks. It's been a while, Zach. Sephiroth. Come to Lazard's room. Uh, all right. I'm guessing it's a pretty bad callus if you have to have it cut off. I have pretty bad ones on, like, both of my big toes. It started after I, uh, started unloading trucks for, for a living, and then it just never kind of went away. Um, but, I don't know. They're not, like, bad enough that I feel they need to be cut off or anything like that. They just kind of rub on the side of my boots or whatever. But I buy, like, the extra wide boots, so it's usually not too bad. Next time you come to the store, I'll introduce you to Alfred. Who the hell is Alfred? Is that one of the babies that you left all over the store? Not sure if I'm gonna have to wear a boot or if you can work. I mean, I hope you don't have to like, I hope it doesn't affect your day-to-day -day life too much once you get it cut off, man, that sucks. I mean, just having to get the, the surgery, I, I guess you would call it surgery, right? Just having to have that done sucks, but if it's bad enough that you can't even like walk around and work with it, oh boy, I hope not. Alright, I'm going to stretch real quick. Give me just a second. Alright, got a nice back crack in. Stretched out a little bit. Noodle said we should open another early Christmas present, which who am I to say no to that? Let me flip my camera down to my desk real quick here. Get it up on my preview window. 
I gotta alt tab the game here. Da 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 da. Uh, add video capture device. No. Yes, video capture device. Add existing camera. Okay. There we go. This one changed your gait. It changes the way you walk. Holy shit, man. <laughs> That's bad, bad. Like I said, mine isn't nearly that bad. It, it's, I mean, it bumps out pretty far, but it doesn't actually affect me too much in my day-to-day -day life or anything like that. So here's the, the games. Nate says we should open number four. Nate said two? I thought he said four. Nate, did you say two or four? This is one, two, three, four. Two? Everyone's saying two? Okay. So number two, that's this one right here then. Another Grogu wrapped one. I like it, man. I mean, Grogu is pretty dope. I haven't even watched The Mandalorian. Don't know if I ever will, but like... <laughs> but he's just so damn cute, man. I can't help it. I really, really like that uh, character. Little baby Yoda. This should be upside down with the way Noodle always wraps everything. Peel the sticker off real quick. Try not to look at what it is because I like to look at the back of the box first to try and figure out if I recognize it or can figure out what it is just from the back of the box. My camera doesn't have as much of a glare today with what's on the screen, but it's still still can't really see what it is. Yeah, the, the glare's still too bad. I wonder if I like turn off my monitor for a moment power off does that oh oh god now everything on my computers <laughs> acting up yeah i really don't have a good like capture setup for this it says uh storm the ba the battlegrounds of tomorrow it's kind of hard to read upside down Here, i'm gonna flip it around for me since it's hard to see on the camera anyways exclusive game designed for playstation 2 north korea 2007 the enemy's close and getting closer your sergeant spots a line of tanks approaching from the west. You grab your laser target designator, light up the lead tanks, and whisper, targets lit. 30 seconds later, four F-22 Raptors thunder in and obliterate the enemy armor, and your elite team of ghosts move on. The War of Tomorrow is here. Now, will you fight it? I mean, like, I'm going to assume that that's a, a Ghost Recon game. Just based off of, like, it's an elite team of ghosts. <laughs> like, it's got to be a Ghost Recon game. Plus, I can see here, that's a that's a Ubisoft uh, logo. So, yeah, it's going to be Ghost Recon 2. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon 2, 2007 First Contact. Man, Noodle got us a lot of, uh, a lot of Tom Clancy games, didn't you? Love. This is, what, the third one that we've opened so far? We still have a few more there. I don't know what they are, but... Do I have a red dragon keyboard? No, it is a uh, it is a razor. It's a razor keyboard. Again, my camera doesn't really do a good job of I don't know, of capturing it. But it's a uh, it's an older Riz razor. Was it the Black Widow Elite? I can never remember the actual name of it. It might say it on the bottom here. Black Widow Ultimate, yeah, but it's the 2016 edition before they before they did uh, RGB on the keyboards. It was just all green at the time. So I, I've been wanting to, to upgrade it ever ever since. I also have a, uh, a Razer mouse and Razer, Razer microphone. Can't really get my capture card pulled out here because it's plugged into a bunch of stuff, but that's Razer. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, my headphones. They don't light up or anything, so you, <laughs> I guess you can't really see. But yeah, I have basically Razer everything. I'm not necessarily a fanboy, but I'm kind of a fanboy <laughs> for Razer stuff. It all started because I got a... Uh, I used to go through headphones like crazy back in the day. So like, are you sponsored? No, no, no sponsors or anything like that. I just used to go through headphones like crazy back in the day whenever I was buying like, you know, Turtle Beaches and whatever no name thing from from GameStop or Walmart or whatever. Uh, and I just got tired of having to constantly get new ones. So I like 
I, I bought a pair of Razors. Were, I don't remember how much they were. They were expensive, though. They were not cheap. Um, and they were 7.1 surround sound, like actual, not virtual 7.1 surround sound, but actual surround sound. And I loved them. I used them up until, like, a year ago or something like that. Whenever I got the motherboard for my new computer, because it had a... It may still, I don't know. It has a, a bug in the driver that the 7.1 surround sound doesn't work properly on it. Um, I could use it in stereo, okay. But what's the point of using, you know, a full sur ah, surround sound headset like that in just stereo? Um, so I bought a new pair of wireless ones because I've been wanting to slowly switch my stuff to wireless anyways. Just to get rid of some of the cables that I have all over the place. Um, but yeah, I've just... After my experience with those headphones and them just working so well for me and not breaking after six months or so, like all of my other headphones did from, from other companies, I just kept buying their stuff because I've never had anything of theirs break on me except the Razer Death Adder mouse. Uh, the Razer Death Adder mouse has never actually broken on me, but I, I've had... One of them started double-clicking so bad that it was basically unusable. And the one that I replaced with this this Razer Viper uh, Ultimate here, it it started double clicking too. I could fix it by like blowing into the the mouse part or taking it apart and cleaning it a little bit. But after after a little while, the problem would always come back. And again, I was trying to switch to wireless stuff anyway, so the the Viper Ultimate was a pretty good choice. Um, but I've had two Razer keyboards, never had a single problem with either one of them. The Razer capture card works great for me. Microphone, camera, like all of the stuff just works for me. I, I've just never had any problem with it. So I've never seen the point in, in switching to another company. Um, if you're in the, the, if you're looking for gaming peripherals though, I, I don't necessarily know if they make the best or anything like that. I do hear Logitech makes really good mice, and I have considered buying one of theirs to try it out instead. Um, but then I just remember that that means I'd have to have like two different pieces of software installed on my computer: one for the Logitech mouse, the rest for all my my Razer crap. So I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep with with Razer for now for the time being. Um, but yeah, I just I just like Razer stuff. He hates Razer, despises it. Yeah, totally noodle. All kinds of new missions available, and some new mail. Might as well read it. Angel in white. Have you seen a guy wearing a white coat and glasses with dark hair and a ponytail? That's Hojo, head of the science department. He rose to the top when he established the method for creating enhanced soldier operatives. It was more than 20 years ago that scientists vying for the top spot apparently had a fierce mudslinging feud. Hojo is in the training room now. I wonder what he could be studying. Maybe I'll sneak into the training room later. I wouldn't mess with Hojo, man. <laughs> Just try to stay under his radar as much as possible, because there's a decent chance he'll try to experiment on you, and uh, I don't think Lately, you want any part in that. A large anti Shinra organization is wreaking havoc worldwide. Wonder what organization that they're could be. Avalanche. I hear they're avid students of planet life. He's a bit weird. Yes, yes, he is. <laughs> I love the introduction to him, or basically introduction to him in Final Fantasy VII. He just <laughs> locks Aerith into a, a uh, big, I almost want to call it a vat, but it's like <laughs> with with Red 13, basically like a uh, intelligent dog thing. And uh, yeah, it's he's a bit weird. That's <laughs> I think that's a perfectly fair way to put it. Hello there. Naturally formed materia are extremely rare, but Mako stones are relatively easy to obtain. A Mako stone is crystallized materia made of concentrated Mako energy. It doesn't function as materia, but if we process it here, we can make it into materia. Soldier sometimes runs Mako stone excavation missions. You should go sometime. That unlock a mission for us. Very cool. Here, but... The science department was working on making copies of soldier operatives. You remember that operative, Angeal? I believe that his mother was assisting with the research at the time. Angeal's mom was helping create the soldier clones. That's a piece of information I don't remember from when I played before. Every material is filled with the knowledge of the ancients. The ancients were, of course, our predecessors. 
and it said they could converse with the planet. The ancients had knowledge, the knowledge to control the planet's power. This knowledge is what ties us to the planet and creates magic. By the way, it's presumed that the ancients are long extinct. Totally extinct. No reason for you guys to keep looking for them. You found a place for two of the eyes? Oh god. If you found a place for them, that probably means they're in the house somewhere. <laughs> Where are you sticking these eyes, Noodle? And you in Genesis's hometown is a village called Benora, right? I discovered something kind of interesting in a Shinra IR report. Benora's annual operating budget was being paid for by Shinra. Oh, you know, nowhere. Oh, Noodle. <laughs> Why do you hate me? President's declaration. We hear that... No. Words. We hereby declare the end of the war with Wutai. Worthy of notice, Sephiroth, soldier first class, whose contributions were instrumental in bringing about a peaceful resolution with minimum of casualties. The end of this war marks the beginning of distribution and further development of Mako throughout all regions. The Shinra Company is dedicated to these goals and will continue to achieve them by any means possible. President Shinra. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. The long war has finally come to an end, all thanks to the heroic efforts of Sephiroth and everyone in Soldier. However, the air around Shinra remains tense. Threats from powerful armed forces and anti-Shinra elements are too numerous to list. We could deem these distortions born out of Shinra's meteoric rise to glory. And we, as members of Shinra, must always face these distortions with integrity. I hope you keep this in your heart as you continue in your duties. Mm-hmm. Oh. Hey, Zack. So, the war is over. That it is. I'm sure you heard. I ruled. No, I didn't hear. The company reports don't mention you at all. On TV, they only talk about Sephiroth's bravery. But Sephiroth was in B unit. Well, our heroes are chosen by the media. Dreams crushed. Rude. <laughs> Do all the work, none of the recognition. Tame the Bahamut materia. If you acquire the items below, Bahamut's image will be added to the DMW. Okay. And same with Odin and all the other ones. Got it. Uh, let's do some information. I'm like worried of going into any of these rooms because I can't remember. When I think of Angel. I think of those little jokes he'd mutter under his breath. Genesis used to read Loveless out loud for us. They're not coming back, are they? That's just really sad. You know Angel's mother? She used to work for Shinra a long time ago. I think for the science department. They say she was quite the hot prospect. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so material room. I mean, I'm assuming the training room is what actually continues us forward, seeing as that's where they said Hojo is. But I don't want to accidentally trigger the next part of the story before we have a chance to do catch up on our missions and then just like talk to everyone and all that BS. Foes on the waterfront. The Coast Guard has spotted Genesis troops, so they're likely to have an outpost near the coast. Head there and vanquish the enemy. Two chests. Let's go. Okay. Is that... Wait, is that the end of it? Okay. Well, if that's the boss, then let's just <laughs> go this way then. I mean, the game straight up tells us there's two chests around here somewhere we need to collect. Damn, dude. This guys are kicking my ass. Nice. And got him. Oh yeah. Question is where are these two chests? There's one. I don't know if it'll work in the new version, but I feel like back on the PSP, 
you could avoid a lot of encounters by instead of walking through the middle of areas oh there's the other chest if you walked all the way around like right up against the wall because the the triggers for the encounters were in the middle of the areas i don't know if that's true or if it was just like some sort of, of placebo effect i had when i was playing back in the day but i remember doing that a fair bit whenever i was in tough missions <laughs> and constantly thinking i was gonna die you never look at hojo the same after machinima bridge man <laughs> One of these days, I'll watch some of the Abridged series. No MP cost? Very cool. I don't think we really need it, though. Can we do that one? Bronze Bangle? I mean, it's what it is. We'll take it. Not upset about it. Next. Genesis forces, enemy on the march. Number two, massive machines. We have received reports of Genesis troops hiding large-scale weapons in the caves. Destroy them and stop their advance. One chest to find. Let's go. She found the tiniest, thinnest strand of hot glue and was trying to eat it. I could barely see it to throw it away. I told you, she's a freaking menace, man. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love all of our cats, but she's a menace. Denying it is just pointless. Uh, so we just got to kick that thing's ass? That doesn't seem that bad. Nate wants to duel you for a thousand points. You can accept or deny within two minutes. I guess. Just because it's been a while. A-C-C-P-T. Did I spell accept right? I think so. Hey, I actually won. Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I had to reread it. Because sometimes, man, I think it says I win, and actually I got my ass kicked. But no, I actually won this time. Let's go. Oh, shit. Now a heist, too? Uh, we should probably save. Oh, wait. No MP cost. Never mind. Save nothing. Just shoot. Let's go. Complete result. You've been dethroned on all accounts. <laughs> uh, the random number generator has just started working properly for you, I think is what you mean to say. I gotta join the heist. It's weird, like, the game I have set to virtual full screen, which I'm assuming means borderless full screen. Uh, but for some reason, anytime I click out of the, the main view of the game, it's still minimized minimizes the uh the game i'm Activate not sure why but i mean it's not the end of the world at least it's not like crashing every time i i walked right into the emi field good job me i didn't mean to use cure twice all right Ooh. Ooh, summon. Let's go. Heist negative five. <laughs> I don't think it works like that, my guy. I'm not sure. <laughs> How would that work? If you win, you lose five. But if you lose, you get five. I'm <laughs> hmm. Oh, nice, dude. That, like, refilled all of our MP, too. Oh, yeah. All right. That was a level two. I don't know if it's just because they were machines, so so we had the material to deal with them easily or what, but uh, that one was pretty easy. Like, are you, <laughs> are you trying to figure out ways to, to, to break the bot? I feel like you're trying to find ways to break the bot, my guy. Hey, we all lived, dude. I think that's like the second one in a row that we've all lived through. Wutai Remnants in the slum. An escaped Wutai trooper is hiding in the slums of Midgar. He seems to have joined with an anti-Shinra element based in the slums, planning a strike against the Shinra building. You must quickly eliminate the threats before they have a chance to make their move. So now we are the soldiers fighting Avalanche. 
after playing Final Fantasy VII Remake and being Avalanche, how the tables have turned. Activating combat mode. I remember these guys from last time. These guys weren't too bad, but they're, uh, they're, they're lieutenants or whatever. Really dished out some damage, man. Nice. Give stream negative 1,000? Guys, <laughs> I I think the that I mean the Streamlabs bot has been around for a while. I've got a uh, suspicion that they've probably tested it for these sort of things by now. You know, like <laughs> surely, surely somebody would have tried doing negative numbers uh, over the past I don't know how many years Streamlabs has been making bots, but. Wild. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Take that. Hey. Holy Take shit, that. dude. That. Hey. Ah. ah, we're dead. <laughs> we we're so close to killing it. And we just got invincible activated, man. If we had just lived for like a moment longer, we would have been fine. Just try again. So honestly, like, mode. it's just because these stupid sergeants, that's what they're called. So they just put out so much freaking damage, man. Okay, well, that fire kind of hurts, too. Chain slash? Yep, so yourself. I got to adjust in my go. chair. Go, go, go! And they have a shit ton of health. Like, that wasn't even enough to take one of them out, man. <laughs> you can you must be broken? I would say no. See, man, they thought of this already. <laughs> if you add together... Uh... Ah! All of the, the, the times that people have, have used Streamlabs over the years, like... There's probably an eternity worth of testing that has gone into this thing. Streamlabs isn't perfect by any means, but it is very common, very popular in the streaming space. Get wrecked. For a second, I thought we died there, but nah, we Gucci. And that one just doesn't want to end. That string of missions, I mean. Unable to save and an error has occurred? Excuse me? Thank you, game. Three stars. Well, these, these ones here, I think, like, don't disappear randomly. Whereas, like, there are some that do disappear. Like, they're, they're timed. You can only do them during specific periods. I don't think we really have that same problem with those ones. So maybe it'll be okay for to skip them for a little bit. I don't know, though. I'm just worried about missing stuff because I never have done a completionist play of it before. Damn, dude. They keep interrupting my attack. Get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Where is thou chest? Okay, well, we gotta go this way first. I'm assuming the chest is over here somewhere. See, if I just stay right against this wall, now that we're at the halfway point, cross over here and stay right against the wall again. See, we didn't trigger any fights, but if I turn around and just walk in here like this, Okay, never mind. It didn't, it didn't trigger a fight. Maybe this one, though. If we walk into the actual center of it here, is Activating it going to... Yeah, see? Trigger a fight. I thought that was a thing. I didn't think I was going crazy. But, I mean, it wouldn't have been the first time, I guess. Nice. 
noise. Oh yeah. What's our HP standing at? Should we heal? No, we're fine. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Even though I did just show that we can skip a lot of the combat, I'm not gonna try to most of the time. Because we need the BMW to be running so that we can get levels on our ourself and the materia. Too bad we don't really oh, need yeah. the summon. It healed all of our MP and shit though. Uh wait a second, which way are we going? Yeah, this way. Okay. Is there a way to like get a mini map up there? No, we can only get the little the little bar style one. Activating it isn't that bad, I guess. I do usually prefer mini maps for this style of game though. Although with that said, a lot of times I prefer the bars to mini maps, but with uh mini maps I feel like I just end up staring at that more than I do the actual game screen. At least with the little bar style when I'm actually looking at the game. Activating combat mode. Just gonna spam Wizard Blade over and over again, and I bet we win. Don't even need it. With as much as our health is broke right now, like. <laughs> Yeah, no, we're fine then. GG. <laughs> Later. Oh, yeah. Spam one attack, that's all you need. I will gladly accept the HP up. Sample monsters level... Or no, Bahamut, a rare find indeed. Thank you for such an invaluable sample. I've created another battle simulation based on this data. So have at it once you're ready. So we just have to beat Bahamut again. Not a big deal. I mean, we've Activate already done it once. Bring it on. No reason we shouldn't be able to do it again. Ow. Take that. The game wants to, like give us some of the awesome hits that we got last time with like the the infinite mp and shit that would be awesome ow chain slash i mean whatever might as well i should have actually saved the limit break for whenever he tries to do his uh hellfire or whatever the hell hit is called ow that hurt dude Uh, I wonder... Ow. Son of a bitch, man. Okay, save it. Oh, no! Why did we take so much damage that time? Damn, dude. Try again. Activating combat mode. I feel like these battles are a little bit harder than they are whenever the uh, Doom or in the story. Which, I mean, makes sense, I guess. Like, you already did it once. What would be the point in making you do the same exact thing again? I wonder if dodge rolls provide invincibility frames in this game. Like, should we be timing our dodge rolls a little bit better? Maybe. Chain slash, let's go. It's only level two, so it's not going to be enough to completely clear it out, but it'll hopefully get us down to like. Oh, that didn't even get us to 75 or to 50. We might be dead. Yeah, 1,175. Holy shit. Okay. So now we know 
Uh, limit breaks are not good enough <laughs> to clear out his attacks unless they're at least like level three or so. And we're near full health. Might as well just use it now. With it only being level 2, there's no reason to save it. Steal the damage, man. Okay, let's just sit back and just try to deal some damage from the distance. We have all this magic, might as well use it. Let's go, dude. I'm glad we got the limit break in before he hit. Maybe we can get it to zero. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about, my guy. No, not thunder. Does lightning bolt just... Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, does it just not hit if we don't move? Nice. No, I guess we just got lucky there a couple times. Okay, 50. One more. Come on, hit him. Ah, oh, so close to canceling it. We should live, though. It's only 25%. Yeah, 404. We do cheat. What do you mean out of attack range? He was right beside us. Bringing out the big guns. Might be enough to kill him. 2,131. Fingers oh, crossed. Yeah, Let's go, on. dude. Conflict resolved. Two of my favorite words. Amulet times one. I don't remember what Amulet does. We'll take a look. Uh, equipment. Yes, amulet. Spirit plus 30. Not bad, but... Magic and spirit plus five. What do we have? Bulletproof vest. That's only magic plus five, which I mean, we have been doing a lot with magic lately. Um, boost magic or MP vitality and spirit halves damage from fire attacks. Fire amulet is pretty good just in general. What's our base spirit at? 23, 32, vitality is 53. I don't know. I kind of want to... I think I'm going to equip the muscle belt over the earrings. Trying to make our, like, base attacks not quite so ass, you know? Give them a little bit more use than what they have right now. Because right now, they're not great. Starting out. Rematch with Bahamut. We thoroughly analyzed the material you retrieved during your fight with Bahamut, and we believe we have isolated his current location. Hurry to the site. Chances are good that you can get your hands on some more rare materia. So wait, we have to fight Bahamut again? Yeah. Activating <laughs> okay. <combat> mode. <laughs> you gotta fight him in the story, and then you gotta fight him <laughs> twice in just the, the normal game. Okay, then. Ow. No, not thunder. Oh. Okay, he's definitely stronger this time than he was even the last time. I still think we can get him, though. Activating combat mode. Just got to get a, a decent DMW and make sure we dodge them hits. Not like that. That is not. That's not how you dodge a hit. We're going to have to stay at basically full health the entire time, too, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Because one of his little jump attacks does 822 damage to us. Like, that's enough to damn near kill us from full health. 
Oh, he takes reduced damage. Oh, we're dead. Oh, we're not dead. From lightning? Or no, he just takes reduced damage from all magic now. And wait a second, he's using flare? <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay, this Bahamut is definitely stronger than before. happy we got the, the movie there and all that BS, but dude, I kind of need something that's going to save me from death. And all physical activity. That doesn't do shit for me, my guy. <laughs> Ow. Holy shit, man. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I think we're going to have to come back to this, Bahamut. I lied when I said, you know what? I think it's fine. I think we can handle No. <laughs> no, we can't. We'll come back and fight him a little later on, maybe, man. Was that a level 3 one? I'm, I'm hoping that was a level 3 one. No, that was only level 2? What? <laughs> God, man. Hard mode is hard. A spirit, mar a spirit Mako Stone has been detected in the slums of Sector 6. Mako Stones are invaluable as research material for material generation. Pray to the slums and obtain the Mako Stone. Okay. Except, yes. Mr. Noodle. Oh, man. I need to play more Pokemon. Seeing LeChonk made me think about it. Maybe I'll play a little bit tonight after I get off. If I have any time before I get to bed. Speaking of having time, I finally had a little bit of time, not much, but a little bit of time to, to officially start working on the uh, little six hour game jam game thing that I'm doing. Not much, I haven't made much progress with it, but uh, it's officially been started at least. I'm, I'm really hoping to have it finished by the end of December. Because my, my goal is to release one every roughly every month. Two months top, but month is like the goal that we're gonna try to hit. Myself and and as long as the Dorseman continues to wanna take part in as well. Oh yeah. See, I think their starring system for this stuff just isn't all that uh comprehensive. <laughs> like that one star, stupidly easy, man. One fight with a couple basic enemies, that was nothing. And then you have a two-star against Bahamut on roids that <laughs> just completely wrecks our shit in one hit from full health. Like, holy hell, man. Desert Island Desites. We have obtained information on monsters living on a desert island. You may, be, you may also be able to find some items there. Please go investigate. A Chocobo Armlet. wonder what that does for us. As always, check behind us. Sometimes they like to hide the chests back there. Beat the game at its own game by going around the outside. Feel bad because I need to get experience. Walk into the, the center to spawn enemies anyways. Ooh, no MP cost? I mean, you use thunder all the time, but can you still be hurt by it? You can be. Weird. Oh, yeah. See, one of the weird things with the DMW being how you level up in this game is that, like, technically, I mean, maybe there's there's some reason it doesn't work like this, but technically, wouldn't it be smarter to like kill all of the enemies but one and then just run around in circles healing yourself for as long as you could? Oh, you're weak against fire. One of you is stealing from lightning. Probably uh, Rajinko. Ow. Better run for it. Prove your honor to me. I 
Get right. Later. Oh yeah. Check our equipment, see what that chocobo armlet does. I'm wondering. I'm trying to think, like, in the back of my mind, what we can do to beat that Bahamut. Uh, chocobo armlet. Gives us more AP, which is nice. It'll let us spam our, our Blizzard Blade more often, but. Um, I don't think it's worth it, though. Holy shit, that Iron Bangle gives us a lot more health. Vitality plus 30 attack plus... You know what? Honestly, Iron Bangle. For that much extra health, I think it's probably worth it. Plus 5, plus 30 to Spirit. If we could get, like, plus 30 to Vitality or Attack or something, that'd be pretty cool. 5% of missions completed. Let's go. Thunderblade obtained. Uh, I mean, that's basically what we have, but the Thunder version, I guess. Seeking precious items. Scavenger hunt. Monsters have appeared in the slums. You must eliminate the threats before any of the citizenry are hurt. We ask that you also conduct a thorough investigation of the area. Reward is jump. What does jump material let us do? That doesn't let us just, like, jump on the overworld, I'm sure. That would be weird. Uh, okay, so if that's the boss, it's just a big circle. Oh, mode. hi there. Oh god, it's getting bigger. Uh, you. Holy crap, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> okay, wow. That wrecked our shit. Did he, did he blow up? Okay, he's dead. Uh, no MP toss, let's go. Why am I spamming the wrong one? I wish we had poison out right about now. Oh, yeah. Technically, we hardly took any damage. It's fine. Where are all the chests? There's one. Dash obtained. What's Dash let us do? Oh, Thunder's mastered. Um, I guess we should switch it for another one then. Work on mastering another one. Plus, this one's magic plus three. The other one was only magic plus two, wasn't it? Yeah. So technically, it's the better one anyways. Uh, none of the other ones are mastered yet. But what does Dash do for us? Thunderblade, HP up, MP up, Libra, dash. Expense AP to perform dash instead of guard. So we can just run in battle instead of guarding? Meh. I'm sure it has its uses, but... I'm just going to forget to use it anyways if I equip it, to be completely honest. We need to be careful we don't Activate accidentally run mode. into the boss's trigger zone, trigger area, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what he just hit me with, but it did some damage, man. No, 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 no. Ooh, heal. Wrong one. Trying to take out one at a time, please. Come on, just die. No, you want to. Got Good little fly boy. Alright, where are thou chesticles? There's another one there. Activating combat mode. Uh, you? Need to go away. No, I'm sorry, damn it. Oh, run away. Run away. Nice, we actually killed him. Oh, I was scared. I didn't think we were going to get to it in time. And he's dead. Conflict resolved. That's chest two. We're still missing one somewhere. Attack up? Very cool. I wonder how much. 
Wait, is that the other one right there? Activating combat mode. Oh, dude, he killed him so quick that time. I guess maybe he has, like, less uh, defense or something before he grows larger. Okay, there's the boss guy. So we just have to stay the hell away from him. So we can collect you. We can't go over here, right? Yeah, no. That's cut off. Uh, do we need to heal or anything? Nah, we'll be fine. Activating combat mode. Okay, yeah, that's that's right. <laughs> can't really use lightning on them. They 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 kind of like it. Blizzard isn't particularly strong against them or anything, but it gets the job done. Brace yourself. Flash, that should do it. Concentrate. Oh, oh yeah. Result. GG. Now we get the jump material. So I'm assuming since dash just lets us, you know, run instead of guard, I'm assuming jump does the same thing. Maybe we can just jump around instead of guarding. Jump. Enables aerial attacks. Huh. It's actually pretty good. How do we unlock more slots? <laughs> I really... I, I would love to equip that, but I, I like the mix we have right now. Two spells, cure is essential as far as I'm concerned, and then a physical attack. But at the same time, like, aerial attacks could really come in handy with certain enemies. Like, flying enemies and things. <laughs> uh, since it seems like we haven't missed anything mission-wise, we can probably go ahead and save over that one. We have obtained information of monsters dwelling in the caves. You may also be able to find some items there. Please go and investigate. I'm going to try it. It's a level 3, so we might get our shit wrecked. But I'm going to try it at least. Because it's only this one and the uh, Bahamut ones left that we can do right now. There's the one chest we're looking for. Silver armlet. Oh, speaking of, we also got that uh, attack up. Materia, how much does that actually end up increasing our attack? Actually, I like Blizzard more than I like Thunder. Wait, plus one? No. <laughs> no, it, it, it must just not be, like, shown properly or something. There's no way it only increases our attack by one. Maybe as it levels up, it gets exponentially better. Out of the way. No, I didn't need to cure. No, not that one. You're in for it now. Flash. I was trying to blizzard the fireball of balls, but stop fireballing the worm. Oh god, he's self-destructing. Oh yeah. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we were far enough away. Uh this way, yes. Activating combat mode. Okay, they're all weak to blizzard, it turns out. Just spam. That's all we gotta do. Spam and hope that we're not in the range of self-destruct. What he's probably gonna do now. Not bad. Not bad. Dark matter times two obtained. I'll take it. See, the star ratings don't make much sense to me, man. <laughs> Maybe I just really suck fighting the big guys, the bosses, but... Like, that was so much easier than that Bahamut fight. Level 4. Again, we'll try it. We have obtained information of odd monsters dwelling in the caves. You may also be able to find some items there. Please go and investigate. Okay. Okay. 
Uh, check the map. So we can't go backwards, but there doesn't seem to be anything there. So down and to the right, we're looking for two chests. This Activate is going to be a fight. Mode. Yep. Take that. I wonder how bad these worms really are. So bad, so far they don't seem all that bad. But I imagine the the thread that they have probably like cast stop on us basically. Yeah, yeah it does. Which really sucks. Could force us into a really shitty situation. Invincible activated dude, let's go. Here we go. Uh, where's the last one? Take that. Here's mastered now. Thank you, game. So should we resolved. switch? Uh, oh, yeah. We'll try maybe after this this level, this mission, we'll switch the cure over to the lower leveled one. There's a box there, but there's probably. Oh, right here. Oh, there's a Tonberry up there. He's going to wreck us so hard, man. <laughs> Wait, which one's the actual boss? Okay, the fire dude's the boss. Oh, he's going to wreck us, dude. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Nope. Out. <laughs> no, stay away from the kitchen knife. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> as soon as I saw a kitchen knife show up, man, I knew we were screwed. Nope, stay away. Okay, baited him out of it. Uh, can we bait him out of it again? Oh, no, we actually took damage that time. We kind of screwed Better it up, but whatever. Hellfire. Oh, my God, that hardly did anything. <laughs> Gotta watch for that, for the kitchen knife. We keep getting the crits on him, that'd be fantastic. Oh, okay. Get your knife. You got this. Tom berries are like the scariest thing. Oh, hi. Says, I stream all the steam. Hi there, Noodle. You out of your shower then, love? Uh, run away! Oh, okay, it didn't kill us. Thankfully, we had the Endure active. That's probably what let us live. Okay, Karma over. Come on, we're so close, dude. Let's go, man! Okay. Surprised we didn't get something extra for killing the Tonberry, to be honest, but... Look, I'll just take the fact that we lived as a win. You're going to attempt to trim some nails. Oh, the cat's nails. For a second, I thought you were talking about yourself, and I was very confused on why you have to attempt to do it. Like, <laughs> can't you just cut your nails? I'm confused here. Uh, Equipment. Would it be smart? Nah, I really like the setup we have. I was going to give us some fire resistance stuff, but honestly, I think we're fine. Activating combat mode. Not... Oh, damn, dude. We're so fucked. <laughs> we, got, we got screwed so hard there, man. With that stop out of nowhere. Nah, we can do it. We can do it. Activating combat mode. This is going to be a hard one, but... Okay, don't let ourselves... No, how do we... There we go. 
No, not the worm, man. I wanted to try to take out the fireball is what I was wanting to do. Ah, I, I saw it exploding. I was in the middle of an animation. We can do it, though. This fight's not Activating actually that bad. Bring it on. Get the fire. Nice. Get the next one. Ow. Ow. <laughs> the Mandragora kind of suck, dude. I don't remember how to switch targets. But it shouldn't matter if you just keep mashing Blizzard Blade. Basically an automatic win. Might as well use air spray real quick. Let's go. Is this the end? I don't know how a little plant lived through all that, but like <laughs> Lunar Heart times two? I don't remember what Lunar Harps are for, or that Dark Matter that we got a moment ago. Two new missions available now, huh? What time is it? Oh shit, it's already after two. Mysteries of the World. Oh, probably for killing the Tonberry. Our president's personal chef has requested that we re reclaim his prize knife of legend. Investigation has revealed that a Tonberry in the coal mines is currently in possession of the knife. Defeat the Tomberry and claim the cutlery. Yeah, we'll try it. We're going to try it once or twice, and then we're going to call it for the night. It's getting late. And your boy, honestly, is exhausted. I haven't been feeling all that well today. Something with my stomach, man. I'm getting a bit of stomach pain and some, you know, bathroom problems and stuff. Not the end of the world, though. We're okay. Okay. Holy shit, this is a long corridor. Activating combat mode. This might be harder than I thought. Especially if we keep getting stopped. You know what? We know the Tonberry isn't that bad to deal with. As long as we, we dodge it. Assuming it's not like a special one or something. So I'm just going to go ahead and use the AP. I mean, I guess we had infinite AP there for a second anyways, but... Get rid of the worms oh, yeah. the easy way, man. We need to keep our eyes open for that one chest, too. Spawn? No? Weird. That looked like a spawn area. Activating combat mode. Out of the way. Same thing. Do it the easy way. If we're lucky, we'll get the infinite AP. Nice. BMW is so broken, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> the ability to just get infinite attacks and shit. Or literal invincibility at times. Like, it's broken as hell. Blizzard obtained? Thanks, game. Now on to the Tonberry. Maybe. More worms. Uh, I would rather not be caught in the thread. I would rather not be caught in thread. Oh shit, that's that's cure, not blizzard. And we're stuck. Yeah. And we have a lot of magic. As long as we save some for cures, I guess it's not all that bad using it. No MP? Perfect. Before we kill him, cure. And... Ah, come on, dude. Dead. Oh, yeah. One done? If you end up needing help, let me know. I can help you out before you do them all. Said I am getting off here in a minute anyways. Do you want to give me... Anything game? Anything helpful? I 
guys. If you guys want to stay like right next to each other, so I can hit you both with one attack. No AP, magic words, man. Okay, we're probably gonna save the rest of our magic now, sadly. So I hope we don't run into any more worms. We're probably going to though. I'm guessing right about here. Activating combat yep. mode. <laughs> it's a group of four. But we kind of need the rest of our magic for heals, so we can't waste any more of it. Play an easy mode. I mean, I guess we could just use an elixir. God damn it. Please, no. Thank you. Ooh, chain slash. Here we go. That didn't even kill him, really. <laughs> Not enough. We have enough for this, though. Bring it out flash again. Love me go. a good limit break. What do you mean, not enough for Blizzard Blade? Oh, it takes 14. I should have saved this, but here's no MP. Uh, we should use an elixir. There's a chance that we'll get something that refills our shit for us, but like, store some, or an ether rather. Am I going the right way? No. There he is. There's the guy. My friend, you have a lot of health. Okay, bait out the kitchen knife. We got to level up on ourselves. Very nice. Karma, we just we must have hit him. As long as we play it e or safe with the, the Tom Barry, he's not all that bad, honestly. And try to get the crits by hitting him in the back, because the dude's a tank. Damn it. Yeah. That's fair. We hit him. I would like it if you kind of got off the wall, my guy. Don't get hit. You gotta be careful with this, with using the, the AP thing, the, the blizzard blade, because if we get stuck in that animation while he's doing a, a, a kitchen knife, we're so screwed. Okay, come this way a little bit, guy. Nice. Finish him off with the rush assault. That Prove should be it for him. Oh, yeah. Not too bad, man. Silver armlet, mission accomplished. Do we get to summon a Tonberry now? <laughs> M10-2-2. We're going to take a look at it. We're not going to do it right now, but we're going to take a look at it. Tonberry quests. The kitchen knife possessed by the previous Tomberry was not the chef's legendary knife, but we have new information about another Tomberry with the chef's precious cutlery. Hurry there and defeat the Tomberry. I'm assuming when we do the third one here, that's when we'll get the ability to actually summon the Tomberry. But, like I was saying, guys, that's all the time we have for tonight. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. I know I certainly did. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while we played more Final Fantasy VII Crisis Core Reunion. 
no, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion, whatever, close enough. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with some Kingdom Hearts. Of course, that's the game that we're trying to play through right now on Wednesdays. I'll most likely be playing this again next Tuesday. Next Tuesday is not a holiday, right? Next Tuesday is the 27th. Yeah, so I'll probably be playing this again next Tuesday night. Uh, the podcast probably won't be returning until the beginning of next year at some point. So until then, we'll probably be playing this every every week. Uh, once it does return, maybe every other week. Because um, I, I, I want to talk to Jonathan. I haven't had the chance to yet, but I think we're going to try and do the podcast every other week instead of weekly. Uh, but anyways, that's for the future. For now, though, thank you one more time, guys. Have a good night, everyone. And as always, be kind to each other. Bye-bye, y'all.